ये है गाइस दिस इज बका पचन चलीकर वेलकम बैक टू सेशन ऑन हाउ टू एग्जीक्यूट सेलेनियम स्क्रिप्ट ऑन क्रोम ब्राउजर इंटरनेट एक्सप्लोर ब्राउजर एंड फायरफॉक्स ब्राउजर विदाउट यूजिंग क्रोम ड्राइवर डॉट ई एक्स सी और आई यू ड्राइवर डॉट ई एक्स सी एंड गीको ड्राइवर ड्राइवर डॉट ई एक्स सी सो प्रीवियसली टू लॉन्च एनी ब्राउजर लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल क्रोम ब्राउजर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लॉन्च द क्रोम ब्राउजर विल बी फर्स्ट बाई यूजिंग द सिस्टम डॉट सेट प्रॉपर्टी मेथड विल बी पासिंग द वेब ड्राइवर डॉट ड्राइव आई मीन क्रोम देन आफ्टर दैट ड्राइवर देन हियर विल बी स्पेसिफाइंग द पाथ वेर एक्सैक्टली यूर क्रोम ड्राइवर डॉट ई एक्सी फाइल इज एक्सिस्ट राइट देन यूल बी क्रिएटिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ क्रोम ड्राइवर देन यूल बी असाइनिंग इट टू द वेब ड्राइवर टाइप इन द सेम वे टू लॉन्च Internet Explorer browser will be will be setting the property for that by using the set property. Then you'll be launch you'll be entering the web driver dot ie dot driver. Then you'll be specifying the path of the ie driver where exactly that particular dot exe file is exist. And then you'll be creating the object of that particular browser. Then you'll be assigning it to the web driver type. then by using this particular driver it will be finding the element and performing the actions and finally will be performing the validations on the web page so i understand you will be facing many issues on like downloading this particular chrome driver.exe and the version which you are downloading and it it may be not comfortable with the selenium version and you'll be facing the issues while launching the browser itself to overcome overcome that particular issue so we have a web driver manager so let us jump to the eclipse id we'll discuss how to execute your selenium script on chrome browser ie browser and firefox browser without using the chrome driver.exe ie driver.exe and geeko driver.exe so before moving on to the eclipse id so let us go to the google here you need to get the dependency details first so as we are using the maven project so you should have one dependency called web driver manager web driver manager maven dependency so if you search this particular thing in the google you will get the very first link that is mvn repository.com from this particular website you will get the dependency details you click on this particular link then in my case i am using the 3.0.0 So here you can see the multiple versions of the web driver managers jar file. So if I click on this three dot zero dot zero, here you are getting all the details, Maven dependency details. Just I will copy this and I will jump to the Eclipse ID. So let let me show you the demo of how to execute your Selenium script on Chrome browser and Internet Explorer browser and firefox browser without using the dot exe file so let me close this particular pom.xml let me open once again so i will go to this pom.xml file then i'll maximize it i'll come down then i will paste the dependency details so that's it just i have copied this particular dependency from the google from the maven repository that is semven repository so once you got this particular jar file downloaded into in, downloaded into your uh, system so what you need to do is so let us quickly create one simple test and we will then i will uh, give a demo on how to execute your selenium script on different browsers without using the dot exe file so let us create quickly here one package under that we'll create a sample class so here i'm creating the sim simple package 
com dot test automation dot test scripts then i will click on finish button so under this i will create one test ng class so if i click on this particular sorry just if i enter class here i will get the all the suggestions i will select this test ng class and i will click on next then here i will specify the class name here i'm specifying the class name as demo1 then simply i will delete this thing because as we have a path of the package what we have created just now so we have a this particular package under this after com dot test automation dot then we should have a test scripts right so here i'm specifying the test scripts that's it then i will click on finish button so if you look at here so it is created a demo class so let me close this let me check out why i am getting this particular error just a second guys so let me select this particular uh, first option add package declaration so that's it so let me maximize this and uh, we will so under this particular class i have a one test that is called f we will rename this particular f with the test one then so that's it so first uh, we will discuss how to execute your selenium script on chrome browser so what you need to do is first you need to uh, write the class name called web driver manager dot if you put dot you will get uh, many options so here you need to select the browser which browser you wanted to launch so if i wanted to execute my selenium script on chrome browser here i'm i will select chrome driver dot you need to call one more method called setup so this is nothing but a static method we have called setup under the chrome driver dot so let me let me tell you clearly so this is a class we have a two methods called one is chrome driver and another one is setup these two methods are the static methods so by using the class name we are directly calling to the those particular methods first one is chrome driver then setup so now the next part is we have we have done the setup for the chrome driver then we need to create the object of the chrome driver and we need to enter the url and we need to perform some action on the web page in my case what i will do is i will simply launch the web browser that is type of chrome browser then i will enter the youtube.com then what i will do is here i will search here selenium by bakappa n so i will click on this search button then i will copy this particular url and i will after launching this web browser i will enter this particular url into the that particular browser so here i am creating the object of chrome driver then i will assign this to the web driver type 
then here I'm giving the reference variable name as driver then you need to import the related packages so this web driver comes from the org dot open dot selenium in the same way you need to import the chrome driver so by using the driver dot I'm going to call to the get method so I can enter the URL into the web browser so that's it so I have copied this URL then after launching the browser first this particular line will launch the web browser and this particular line will be entering the URL into the web browser then simply I will close the browser by using the quit method so rest you can try at your end you can open this particular after entering the URL you can perform any action on the web page and all so that is uh, left out at your end so you can perform actions and after that you can perform the validations on the web page and you can try the same at your end and let me know if you face any difficulties in this so these four lines will uh, open the chrome browser and it will enter that particular url and it will simply close the web browser that is of type chrome browser type so if i execute this test one run as test ng test so now it has launched the web browser then it has to enter the url then it is simply closing the web browser if you look at here test run is one there are zero failures and zero skips so this is the test name what we have provided in a class so it is showing under the past because our test is got passed in the same way we will execute our script in a different browser so let me comment this let me comment these two lines so th these two lines for execute selenium script on chrome browser so next thing is now we will discuss how to how to execute your selenium script on internet explorer browser so in the same way what you need to do is just you, need, you can copy this so instead of chrome driver i am going to call to the ie driver so after that as is well i will be calling to the setup method so this sets the property for the ie driver then i will i need to create the object of internet explorer browser that's it so let me copy this comment on ie browser so that's it so only change is just i have called to the web driver manager dot ie driver method then i call to the setup method then i have created the object of internet explorer driver then i assign back to the driver type then as well i call to the get method by using the driver object to launch this particular url in ie driver i mean internet explorer driver then i close the web, web driver by using the driver dot quit method so if i execute this particular test one so it launch it should launch the internet explorer browser then it has to enter the url then it has to close the web browser so second assignment is done the third one is we need to launch the firefox browser then we need to enter this particular url in the firefox browser then we need to close the web browser by using the quit method so these two lines is for 
IE browser. In the same way, I will copy this so instead of calling to the i driver <clears throat> so in my case i wanted to execute my selenium script on firefox browser here here i'm going to call to the firefox method then i will use the setup method to execute my script on firefox browser sorry guys so we need to call to the Firefox driver method, then we need to call to the setup method. So only change is first if we are executing Selenium script on Chrome browser, you need to call to the Chrome driver method. Then if you are executing your Selenium script on IE driver, Internet Explorer browser, you need to call to the IE driver method. And if you are executing your Selenium script on Firefox browser, you need to call to the Firefox driver. So here you need to specify the object of Firefox driver, right? So here I'm specifying the Firefox driver type. Then you need to import the related packages from the org dot dot selenium dot firefox. So that's it. So if I execute this particular test. So it has launched the Firefox browser. Then it has to enter the specified URL. It has entered the specified URL and it has closed the web browser. So if you look at here in the result, total, I mean, test run is one and there are zero failures and zero skips. So this is how you can execute your Selenium automation scripts on all the browsers without using the dot exe file so same you can try at your end if you face any difficulties please comment in the comment section of this below video to get daily updates from this particular channel click on subscribe button if you like this particular video please click on like button and share with your friends and colleagues thank you thank you so much for watching this tutorial on how to execute your selenium script on different browsers without using .exe files